All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and try to deploy our application to Firebase. So if you go to your panel and you go to hosting, it's going to have this page here where you can say get started and it'll tell you to install Firebase tools globally. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's say NPM. Actually, I'm on Mac, so I need to say sudo NPM install dash G and we want Firebase dash tools. Okay, so that's going to install it globally. And once we do that, it's we're going to have to initialize our app. It'll probably tell us it right here. Let's see. Does it say it? If you're using the emulator, you can disregard this message. Yeah, we don't care about any of that. All right, so I'm going to clear this up and we want to run Firebase init. Commands, uh, command requires authentication. Okay, so we have to log in first. So let's do Firebase login. Allow Firebase to collect anonymous CLI usage. This is up to you. I'm going to say no. And I'm going to just log in here with uh, my Gmail account. So it's Firebase CLI wants to access your Google account. I'm going to say allow and Firebase CLI login successful. So now if we go back, we should be able to init. So let's clear this out and let's say Firebase init. Now we're going to get some some questions here and we can navigate with the arrows and click space to select. So which Firebase CLI features do you want to set up? So we have database, which is the real time database. We don't want that. We used Firestore, so we want Firestore. So I'm going to hit space. We're not using any serverless functions. We do want hosting and we're not using storage. So basically just Firestore and hosting is what we should need. So I'll hit enter. And let's see, select a Firebase project for this directory. We're going to choose the React client panel. Uh, Propolis things is something else that I have on Firebase. So I'm going to select React client panel and let's see what file should be used for Firebase rules. And then the default is going to be Firebase Firestore dot rules. I'm just going to hit enter. Uh, this is for the Firestore indexes. I'm just going to hit enter. What do you want to use for your public directory? Now, this part's important because when we build out our app with React, it puts it in a folder called build. But by default, Firebase is going to use public. So we want to specify here build. Okay, configure as a single page app and we want to say yes. All right, so Firebase initialization is complete. So now let's go back to Firebase. And whoops, I probably should have just, yeah, we'll say continue. And this just tells us all the stuff we just did. Uh, we do have to do Firebase deploy, though. Okay, so uh, let's see. So deployment history, waiting for your first deploy. So let's go back here and let's first build out our application with npm run build. Okay, so that's just going to put everything in the build folder and then we should be able to deploy. All right, so let's clear this up and then let's do Firebase deploy. Okay, everything looks good so far. Deploy complete. Good. Uh, so our hosting URL is going to be this right here. If I go over to the panel here and reload, we should see it. Actually, I didn't even have to reload. And it's right here. So this is the This is our deployment history. So if we change something and we deploy again, we'll see that here. But this is the URL to our app. Let's check it out. And there we go. So we're now live on the Internet. Let's try a login here. So remember, it's still using the same database. So, so I should be able to log in. All right, cool. We still have all these clients. Let's try to add a client. We'll just say uh, Jerry. Submit and there we go. So there's Jerry Smith. All right, we can go to details. We can delete. If 
preset settings, allow registration. Let's log out. Let's make sure we can register a user. I'll say Sarah at test.com password and register. And up here you can see we're now logged in as Sarah at test.com. All right, so everything seems to be in order. We have our application deployed to the internet. Now, if you wanted to add a domain, you can simply say connect domain and just add it here, go through the process. You will have to register a domain, obviously, um, and, and you can do that wherever you want. I personally suggest Namecheap. I think that they're really good and, and obviously, as the name says, they're very cheap as well. Uh, but yeah, so our, our application is live and that's the end of the course. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this and, and you learned a lot from it. We covered quite a bit and hopefully it was clear and you'll take what you've learned and, and you know, move on and build your own bigger and better applications, uh, find a position at a job, you know, whatever it is that you that you want to do. If you want to start your own company or freelance, anything Yeah, anything you want to do, you can do it. Just you just need to keep pushing. You need to keep learning. Stay focused. And that's it, guys. Hopefully I will see you in my next course.